is just completely blown that bearing right there. But hey man, that, that's our seeing. So we're servicing the dips, dips, dips. <laughs> from the uh, Mojave. So he's pulled it out, I guess it's four bolts. Yep, bit of on diffs. Let's see, nice. Let me see the inside. Oh, so you just cleaned it all, huh? It was all full of grease. Yep, loaded with grease. Just wanna start the clean sleep. And then we're gonna pull that out. It's just four bolts, those four bolts. Yeah, One, two, three, four. When it comes out, we're gonna pull that. Cool. Go for it. So, just to pull this out, because you know the axle pins were stuck in there, you just stick a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench in there and pull this out. And I'll give you enough room to slip this out. And then you gotta take these four screws off here. Essentially, we're just gonna put them all in uh, this little dish and fill them up with brake cleaner and clean them real good. After inspecting the gears, we're gonna see if they're uh, ground down too much, if we can salvage this just by rebuilding it or if we actually have to put new gears in there, we'll see. Oh, it looks actually pretty good in there. Uh, Is yeah, that everything looks pretty good. I don't see much. Uh, you know, chipping or one ground down gear. Oh, so definitely need to replace that. So there's just a gasket. I don't know if it's metal or not. Time to call Rob now. I've got those. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look damaged, does it? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, it does? Yeah, you send the end there. Oh, like yeah. Yeah, everything else looks okay. It's kind of breaking right there too. Pull one of these out. All these parts. Oh, I gotta do this one now. Alright, just gotta go back together. I don't know what the hell those are, where they came from. Essentially, all the parts. I'm just cleaning them off as best I can. So, we gotta go get <clears throat> the hobby shop because. Stuck, so there's a new one. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna rebuild the crown, crown wheel side of the front diff right now. So you put a shim on here in your output, and then you go ahead and get a bearing. These are fast eddy sealed bearings. Slide that on, and then you can slide that into. There we go, clicks in. Put the O-ring back in. All 
Very good, and then put another shim. Oh. Right here. Um, now you put your pen in. That's in there. Center right. Feels pretty good. Make it yeah, nice and center. <clears throat> and then put your... So you just rock that up and down, and if there's plane, you probably want another shim on what, each side, or...? Yeah, well, on one or the other. I see. Probably the side, it's just easier to get to at this point. So um, that, that seems pretty nice. Yeah, do you think it needs another one? I think it's pretty good. Cool. Shouldn't be extremely tight, but it shouldn't have like a clicking yeah. back and forth. And it feels nice and smooth when you're turning, so yeah. we'll go ahead and put this in. And it sits nice and flush. Boom. Perfect. Alright, gonna complete the next side of the front diff. Gonna put the shim on. And then your shield bearing ideally. Slide that in here. And wiggle it around until it clicks in. Boom. And then this is going to be a little challenging, but you have to get this O ring on there. And it's if you don't have something like, like this, uh, maybe like a socket might work or something like that. But you just need to push that down in there nice and gently, being careful not to rip that O ring because this O ring keeps all the oil in. All right, looks pretty good. You put another shim. And... and we're gonna stick this back in now that I found the needle in those pliers. And it's giving me the most room. possible and drop that Gee. in there all right nice. and that's nice and snug nice perfect all right so i'm going to build another one of these i don't know what they're called top top gears uh i built one already it's the same thing it's actually that thing right there yeah so you stick a gear on, and then you go ahead and put a shim on, one of the old shims. My gears were a little loose, so I'm putting a total of three shims on each of these. Um, so two on one side and one on the other. I have two on one side, one on the other on this one as well. So we'll put the old one, then we'll put one of the new ones I have. And then you put one of these carrier bolts with the the grooves on the outside, okay? You want the f flat, smooth part against your shims. And that kind of squeezes on there. And then do the other side, same thing. Put your gear on. Put, I'm just putting one shim on this side and carry your bolt. And then if you notice on these uh, little pins, there's a groove. I put this one facing up inside of the gearbox, so I'm gonna put this one facing down, right? So they connect. This is like indentation in the middle. And yeah. This one has an indentation in the middle. And they're gonna go together like log blocks almost. That's the idea. And it's a little finicky, but they will go in. All right. Boom. Nice. Everything's spinning and it looks great. Nice. So now I put some diff, diff fluid in there. Okay. And I'm putting 50,000 uh, weight Traxxas diff fluid in here. And the reason why I have Traxxas diff fluid is because it's the only diff fluid I could find <laughs> in November 2020 in the United States. 
I'm gonna put 50,000 weight in the front. I'm gonna put 500,000 weight in the center uh, and 30,000 in the rear. And I'm doing that because that's what other people have done. So if I don't like it, well, I'll just try something else. My goodness, that's so, like jelly. Yeah, so it's gonna take a little while to set. I can't imagine what the 500,000 is gonna look like. Like honey. This is already like honey. You don't wanna fill it all the way to the top because that gear is gonna sit in there and if you put too much in there, it's gonna overfill. So I'm just gonna let that sit for a while and we'll add some more after it settles. It's kind of seated in there. Yeah, well, it doesn't spill that quick, so <laughs> that's good. Might put a little bit more. It's setting. Look at that jelly. Mm. <laughs> what do I taste like? <laughs> Just as if swallowed, rinse mouth out. That's no big deal. Yeah, no poison control. <laughs> Just rinse your mouth out. <laughs> what you swallowed. <laughs> what do you, you didn't rinse it out like brake cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Just rinse it out. The stuff you swallow, you'll be fine. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Gotta put the gasket on. The gasket. <laughs> yep. So you're using the old one? We're using the old one and saving the new one I got. The hobby shop only had one for some reason. So this one looks bad, but not as bad as. It could be. So we're just gonna see. If it holds the oil. If it holds, probably get a little the fluid. A little fluid on there just to. Yeah, the old, uh, old uh, car mechanics trick where you put a little bit on there. Yeah. I don't know why they. I feel like that would like start a leak. Yeah. But hey, <laughs> they must know more than me. Okay. Uh, is your holes have to line this up? Okay, yep. Cool. Line up with the holes, the screw holes, so you don't put holes through your gasket. And my goodness, that is very tedious. You gotta line up just right. Boom. That looks pretty darn good. Okay. Let's put the screws, put the screws in. in. So he's just throwing it back together, putting the screws in. What am I doing? You're asking. Oh, I'm just. Inverting the tailpipe on this uh, slash so it squirts out to the back instead of like right here and like just dumping on all my you know, cool aluminum. Now it's gonna come. Okay, so he's gonna put the. Putting some shims on the outside. Uh, these aren't armor parts. Uh, I'm trying to remember where I got these from, but we can put a parts number in the video. Uh, you put those on the side just to reduce the play that's on here as well. Now this is a little finicky to fit because this is a tight fit, but that was actually almost perfect. That looks a little loose on there. Yeah. There we go. I think it's pinching out, yeah. There we go. Just like that. And then you gotta remember to put some grease on the outside. Now this is like a, I don't know, some people say you don't need it, but I don't understand why you wouldn't need it on some gears. So I put some uh, waterproof uh, marine grease in a Ziploc baggie. I'm just gonna put it on like a cake. Nice icing. Are you gonna fill the whole thing or just put like a bunch of them? I'm gonna put it on the gears and then put some more in. Nice. Bit of on, definitely recommend. Diff so, heads? Yeah, super high quality diff heads. Uh, kind of pricey, but uh, I don't think I'll be breaking this one anytime soon, so. Cool, All right, just good. put the screws in, that's it. Put the screws in. And then the uh, front's done, we're gonna move on to the, uh, which one do do next? The Probably rear. the rear. All right. um, the rear is pretty much the same, right? Exactly the same. All right, so. <laughs> Oh, 
So we opened up the uh, rear, and as you can see, the that bearing is fine, but that bearing is completely broken. And the other piece was stuck on there. I just threw it on the ground. That's okay. <laughs> they believe it. They don't believe us because it's completely <laughs> exposed. It still spins. <laughs> With the balls in there. What that's the so heck is that holding it in? That's yeah. so crazy. That's why you got to replace your uh, bearings to some high quality, low cost ball bearings. There you go. Fast eddies. There you go. These are sealed too. You get a whole pack for, I don't know, 15 or 20 bucks. That's a deal. Yeah. You can do your whole car with that. Yeah, you can do a whole car. So, but now I got to take this apart and clean it. So yeah, that so part just pulls off. Just pulls off with the little cotter pin. Cotter pin, easy two of them. Get that out of the way, and then you gotta take this bar off probably. So yeah, you just this part just take that one out, unscrew, bring it up. Oh, dirt. This thing looks really clean, man. Yeah, I cleaned it yesterday. Pull all the screws out and. Off it goes, and that's the center diff. Nice. Mm -hmm. So it just pulls up. Yep. yep, just kind of wiggle it up. Cool. And keep your dog bones there. I'm not going to spray all that out, but that's the center diff. Cool. It's a little bigger uh, pinion gear there than this, uh, the front and rear diff. So this part's not really necessary, but we're going to replace. This part right here, it's plastic stock, and I'm placing with this hot racing aluminum piece. Nice. Yeah, one side's metal, and the other side's plastic. It doesn't make sense, but we're gonna make them both metal. Always use them. Screws off, and I got these four screws off, and pop this open. Well, it's pretty dry in there. Yeah. Wow. Nothing in there. Gasket looks good still. The gasket looks really good. There's like, it's pretty much empty. Yeah. Wow. That is sticker. So we're going to clean all that out. Wow. Yeah. This looks okay too. Give it like a bash, upside down bash. So sticky in there. All right. Nice. And then is there a carriage screw or pen? So now, yeah, this has been shimmed twice, which is good. And there's a shimmer here. And there's an O-ring in there, which I'll probably keep in there for now and just spray that down. But, um, this is a used vehicle, so every time we're like finding shims and stuff, they're surprised to us. And, uh, that's why they're surprised, because we don't know what happened. And if we're gold, look like a gold farmer. Yeah. I'm gonna assemble the first half of the diff. You got your cup, put a shim on. And then bearing, I'm using Eddie's uh, fast Eddie's sealed bearings, and then I'm gonna stick this on, and just kind of wiggle in place, kind of snaps down. Got your O-ring. I'm gonna make sure that's kind of set, seated. That doesn't work. Try using one of these. Where's that other screwdriver? That doesn't work 
you put a shim on top. Let me use this push down. So let me just take a look and make sure. Yeah, it looks like the O ring's nice and set, seated now. Mm -hmm. so set that aside. Oh, before that, we'll go ahead and put one of these pens in. Easiest to get some pliers. Set that aside and start putting this back together. I didn't take these fully apart this time because I, they stayed together when I was cleaning them, so I figured they're okay. Um, so we'll grab one of these cups again, put a shim. that put the new bearing on and go and slide it in just wiggle it around and I'm try to see this o-ring again Ooh, much better at least it looks like it's much better. Let's see. All right. Looks like that seat got seated. Yep, looks good. these actually before we put these in we're going to add some 500,000 weight diff loop because it might it's going to take a while for this to sink i imagine if the 50,000 took a while side we're just getting done while the molasses sits might need a shim yeah I might add another shim there you can hear that so if you rattle it then you hear some rattling you probably want to add a shim so the shim is essentially that washer spacer whatever you want to call it call it a washer spacer Pretty tight now. Yeah, that's much better. Yep, no play, no wiggle. Bearing feels real nice. <laughs> so with the notch facing up, so it's like a U. Wow. Like, shove that in there. And then notch facing down. And then notch facing down, kind of like an N. <laughs> <laughs> See, they can learn how to do this and they're not full. Wow, that's good. Perfect amount. You see that? Yeah. Now I just fill a little bit more up at the top. Yeah. Whoa, that is crazy. Probably just a little bit more. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not even. I'm just gonna try to slip this one on instead of taking that out because it's really goopy. Oh. <coughs> Is it perfectly straight aligned? Sounds like popping silicone. Oh, is that what's happening? Yeah. There's air in there. 
Maybe it'll go away. That's crunchy. Guys, but <coughs> that's life. I guess that's our scene. <laughs> yeah, that's our scene. <laughs> Maybe I should put some more in. What do you think? Uh, I wiped where's the out. air came out? Where's the air come out? It can't go anywhere. Oh, I didn't put the fucking gasket on. <laughs> ah, missing some pieces. Okay, let's just hit this with the blow dryer. Make it, make it nice take it inside. Alright. Blow dryer time. We're just gonna hit it with the blow dryer and we'll just sink in some of that uh, silicone fluid. Oh god. So, we hit it with the blow dryer. Sunk in quite a bit. Lots of bubbles came out, so that might be a good tip. Unless you're working in a hotter climate, but it's like yeah. 60 out right now. I know it's not that cold, but it's cold as Californians. I put my gasket on. And try to match up the holes. Remember that thing drops a little bit. I think you got it though. Oh. Yeah, no, no, you did. Did I miss it completely? Yeah, I, I saw it drop. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, before I. Before you spin it. It's only gooping out. So now it's nice and good. We um, actually forgot to put the screws in, and so some of the goop was coming out, some of the diff fluid. Put the screws in, heated it up, take all the uh, bubbles out, and uh, it seems to be working properly. Slap it back in and test it. So we just drop this right in, nice and easy. Make sure you got a good mesh, but it should just be already meshed from where you yeah, left it. And I might add a single shim. Oh, you feel some play? Yeah, just a little bit of play. We'll see if this. Oh, almost. There we go. Much better. Nice. Yep, that's perfect. Yep. Just a little bit of back and forth is what you should hear on the... What you're hearing there is that two mesh and going back and forth. Uh, no, not that way. Yeah, either that way or the other way. Oh, I see if it's in... It's right inside. Yeah. Perfect. Now I just put those uh, four screws in. So in the back, you can see it's not spinning the back wheel as as well because the diff fluid is what is it thirty thousand in the back and in the front in the front when I spin it, pretty much all tires spin. Yeah. It's thicker and the diff uh, the center diff's five hundred, but it sounds so much better than before. Oh, it's sitting great too. Wow.